the Pentagon. ABC's John McCrethy, our Pentagon correspondent, who's been plugging in as quickly to the intelligence and counterintelligence units there this morning, has been temporarily evacuated. But that is as much as we know for sure at the moment. John Miller, go back to what you're hearing on your nets. Um, actually, it's interesting. Uh, in, the, uh, in New York City, uh, they're reporting um, on what we're seeing here also, essentially trying to uh, tell everybody that uh, heightened security is important now. John, I apologize. There's a lot of us here. What are we listening to there? Say again. Say again, please. Come here, John. Tell. Good. Try to great. So we have. I, I think you're going to see a lot of this, and I think we were talking about this uh, a few minutes ago. In fact, uh, when I was telling you that in New York they were evacuating the municipal building, the United Nations, uh, Gracie Mansion, which is the mayor's residence, all potential targets, I suggested to you that shortly in Washington you'll probably be seeing the same kind of reaction at sensitive uh, symbolic locations. And apparently that's become more than a concern, but perhaps a reality. Okay, we do know, or at least the Associated Press is now reporting, that an aircraft crashed near the Pentagon, and the West Wing of the White House, as Claire Shipman told us, was evacuated amid these threats of terrorism. I guess what's... First of all, let me go to another eyewitness. ABC's Bill Blakemore, one of our senior reporters, has been an eyewitness to the New York incident. Bill, you on the phone? Yes, I am, Peter. Go ahead. I'm, I'm down at 12th Street. Uh, looks like we're more than a mile north of this very surrealistic site, and business has completely come to a stop here. Looks like throughout uh, lower Manhattan, people standing in the streets, cell phones aren't working. A few of these uh, phone booths, such as I'm talking to you from now, are working. One man uh, just shaking his head said to me a few moments ago, I was supposed to be at a meeting in the building at 10.30 this morning, and then I saw the second plane uh, hit the tower in this flash of light. Um, there's, a, there's a complete cessation of regular life. There's one delivery man standing here looking like he doesn't know where to go with this uh, stack of beer crates. So all of lower Manhattan is just standing in the streets on this sunny morning looking at this unrealistic sight in front of us, this gray smoke coming out of the Trade Center. Okay, Bill, talk to as many people as you can. Call us back when you can. Um, let's return to Washington visually at the moment. Just take a look at that picture. That smoke behind the executive office building, uh, which is right next uh, to the White House, we now believe is from a fire in the courtyard of the Pentagon, or at least where an aircraft appears to have crashed in the general vicinity of the Pentagon. And now the Pentagon is southwest from the White House across the Potomac River. And what we think we may be seeing there, <coughs> emphasis on think, is smoke uh, in the distance uh, rather than uh, immediately behind the Pentagon. Precautions being taken everywhere. The U.S. Capitol is now being uh, evacuated as a precautionary measure. The U.S. Treasury, according to at least one eyewitness, is being evacuated as a precautionary measure. And there was an explosion outside the Pentagon. Um, and that's, a, that's an issue of eyewitnesses from both inside and from outside, but we're not quite sure what we're looking at. And we are, we are looking now at Air Force One. We've just been told by ABC's Ann Compton that there's been a serious investigation now, or serious check of Air Force One before the president, who's been in Florida, gets on it and flies back to Washington. All of this, of course, adds to the tension, uh, adds to the fear, but all of it makes absolute common sense. And there is no aircraft in the world, to the best of my knowledge, which is given as intense security as Air Force One, which is what any aircraft the president flies on is designated, of course. Um, uh, it, wherever it, it is in the world. And today it's been at Sarasota in Florida. I want to get somebody to fix some monitors here for me, please. I want this monitor in front of me here to look like that monitor so I know what I'm looking at right now. Thank you. Um, and uh, the President Will, having, having already spoken very briefly to the nation, saying, as we said, the, uh, the obvious and necessary thing that terrorism will not stand, calling for a moment of silence. Um, uh, to, to acknowledge, to recognize, to honor, to deeply sympathize with the victims of today's attacks. Uh, the president then said he would uh, come back immediately to Washington. 
I think we all know that the president is never out of touch with the events of the moment, uh, wherever he is. But as of the moment, listen to this, as of the moment, from west to east in the United States, there are no airplanes taking off that are at least under the control or have are obeying the Federal Aviation Administration. Um, at O'Hare Airport in Chicago, for example, planes are still landing, but all departures have been stopped. The Sears Tower in Chicago, uh, Chicago's great landmark tower, has been closed, and there are no aircraft taking off in the U.S. This is clearly because while we have not been able to confirm, well, we've not been able to confirm precisely what happened, there is for the Pentagon in that is the courtyard of the Pentagon. The Pentagon is indeed exactly what it's described, uh, just on the other side of the Potomac River um, from the Capitol. And there you see fires burning in the courtyard of the, of the Pentagon, confirming what we had, what we've been told almost immediately by eyewitnesses. We've also been told it was a plane crash. So our, our belief at the moment is that an aircraft has crashed into either the courtyard itself or into that particular side of the building. Um, parts of the Pentagon um, have been confirmed. Well, you can hear it, just listen. And that's what this looks like from just across on the north side of the White House. Those are the same incidents, to the best of our knowledge, the same incidents. And if you look at the, the amount of smoke at the Pentagon, this is huge. This is huge. The State Department is now being evacuated as a precaution. We're simply not able to get a good handle yet on what precisely happened at the Pentagon. But we do know that nowhere in the United States, at no commercial airport under the control of the FAA, are aircraft taking off. And this is in large measure because um, it has now been reported by several news agencies that the first aircraft, I beg your pardon, the one of the two aircraft which crashed into the Twin Trade Towers just before and just after 9 o'clock Eastern Time this morning, was hijacked out of Boston. We do not know the airline. We're not able absolutely to confirm that, but there are several reports, and, there, and that led to the intense concern um, with the FAA and with the National Intelligence Services, the, the, all of the airspace um, in the general area of New York City, and now subsequently in Washington and everywhere else, be sealed as one would try to seal a building uh, in order to prevent a third or a third and fourth whatever uh, incident similar to the first Two. But that is the Pentagon, and as ABC's John Miller just reported a moment ago, um, the scene on the ground in New York City is still pretty chaotic. Emergency rigs, emergency services have converged on the Twin Trade Towers at the very same time that other high-profile buildings. Nancy Gabriel, I'm not sure. Do we know if the United Nations has been evacuated yet? Uh, the police department on the New York side has ordered the United Nations evacuated. In fact, they did that very early on, um, almost immediately after it became apparent uh, what was going on here. Uh, right now, at the World Trade Center, the emergency units are reporting there's still debris falling onto the street on the uh, east side of the building, including uh, a second body, which has fallen from the wreckage uh, on the upper floors. They're also talking about um, people who are on the roof, and they've asked uh, if the aviation unit uh, from the police department can get up there and uh, pick people up. But again, because of that smoke, as we discussed before, mm -hmm. they're going to have real trouble uh, edging in there. As we look at the Pentagon, again, we have to say that sometimes the camera and the eye don't see precisely what is happening. We have now had eyewitness reports from our sources in Washington say they did see a plane crash in the vicinity of the Pentagon. We're looking at it um, from the western, from the Washington end, uh, which would be to the east of the Pentagon, slightly to the northeast of the Pentagon itself. And it looks very much as if there is fire in the courtyard itself in that central quad. 
but you can see a small plume of smoke on the on the northern side of the building as well. At least I think it's the north. Yes, it is the northern side of the building as well, and we're not um, absolutely certain. The Associated Press, um, it, quoting a senior U.S. official, um, or quoting a U.S. official, is now saying affirmatively that one of the two planes that crashed into the World Trade Center was hijacked after takeoff from Boston at this time of day. Um, it, any number of aircraft taking off from Boston to go to ABC's John McCarthy believes um, that it was an American Airlines flight, flight number 11, bound for Los Angeles. And I realize when, when, when saying that, we're going to put the fear of God into a lot of people on the West Coast and, and people who know, who are connected with that flight. But, our Pentagon correspondent John McCarthy just reports into us that American Airlines Flight 11, bound for Los Angeles from Boston, was actually hijacked out of Boston. That's a helicopter over the Pentagon. Um, I apologize to the audience. We have two separate monitors here. They show different pictures. Could you tell me which one?